so in the last class uh, we did a problem based on so we had designed a circuit right for a given expression v not equal to 2v1 minus vv2 plus 4v3 minus 5v4 using two adders and one subtractor by using two adders and one subtractor we had designed a circuit right so instead of uh, three operational amplifiers we 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 can use one single op amp to do adder and subtractor operations to do adder and subtractor operation we can use a single op amp instead of three op amps right then how this how that circuit looks like means so this is the circuit for adder subtractor uh, which performs which performs both addition and subtraction simultaneously which performs both addition and subtraction simultaneously this is a single operational amplifier circuit which performs both addition addition and subtraction of the signals right we here we use only single op amp in the previous one the last class in this problem we use three operational amplifiers in, in those three op amps one two op amps we use it for uh, used as adders and one op amp uh, used as subtractor whose inputs are outputs of the adder circuits right so instead of uh, design uh, to avoid this complexity uh, by using single op amp we can perform both addition and subtraction so this is the circuit modified circuit uh, which performs both addition and subtraction simultaneously whose output is v3 plus v4 minus of v1 plus v2 here also if you observe these are the outputs of two adders and this this uh, this uh, this operation is subtraction this operation is subtraction so two adders and one subtractor right but which can be done by single operational amplifier single op amp right by using single op amp we we perform both addition and subtraction simultaneously so coming to before do going to do the problems on this circuit first we'll do some analysis how we perform both addition and subtraction of the signals right so for that uh, i have taken four inputs v1 v2 v3 v4 v1 and v2 are applied to inverting input terminal of op amp and v3 and v4 are the inputs applied to non inverting input terminal of op amp and here i am assuming all the resistance values are identical all the resistance values are equal right that's why i am taking r instead of r1 r2 r3 r4 r5 rf i am taking a single resistance value which is r for simplification of analysis right so we know that already discussed in the last class when the multiple inputs are applied to your inverting and non inverting input terminal you always supposed to use superposition principle superposition theorem right superposition theorem means by by active i mean by activating one source at a time by deactivating remaining sources right we can that means only one source is acting on the circuit remaining are inactive right so by using superposition principle right now uh we'll do the analysis of part right so coming to first case case 1 coming to first case case 1 so here in the first case i am finding output voltage v not 1 let us considering let us consider the output of your adder subtractor circuit the circuit name is called adder subtractor which performs both operations right so the output of uh, adder subtractor circuit assumed as v not 1 when v1 alone is acting and all other sources i mean input voltage is v2 v3 v4 equal to 0 v1 is acting v2 v3 v4 are becomes 0 in that case the output i am assumed as v not 1 v not 1 then when v1 is acting v2 v3 v4 are inactive then the equivalent circuit looks like this 
you observe the modification so this one is the modified circuit when v1 is active others uh, others other inputs voltages are inactive that means they are equal to zero right so if you are uh, see this is the circuit so when v2 is zero means this r is connected to ground this r is connected to this r is connected to ground and this r is also connected to ground and this one is also connected to ground that means 1 2 3 4 resistances connected to ground for inverting a single resistance connected to ground for non inverting three resistances we are, which are in parallel all three resistances are in parallel only right they are connected to ground so this is the modified circuit right again i am simplified this circuit into like in this form again i am simplifying the circuit into this form right so this resistance is r this resistance is r and this resistance is r right if you calculate uh, equivalent resistance par by doing the parallel operation r into r by r plus r r square by 2r nothing but r by 2 right so that these two resistances they are in parallel and the equivalent resistance is r by 2 right when r by 2 and r in parallel r by 2 in r and r in parallel you can get r by 3 a single resistance after uh, after doing the analysis we are getting a single resistance at non inverting terminal because the three resistances are in parallel right so r by 3 coming to inverting coming to inverting section right so if you observe right what is the input to the this circuit what is the input to this circuit anyone tell me what is the input for this circuit anyone please tell me what is the input for this circuit is it v1 is it v1 tell me i am waiting for your answer is it v1 what is the input for this circuit yeah tell me v1 sir not v1 anyone v1 by 2 sir r r parallel lo unnai sir right. here for this circuit input is voltage available at this point voltage is available at this point not this one in non inverting lo chusaru kada special case vb vb is the input not v in non inverting amplifier special case circuit chusaru kada similarly ikkada here the input to your inverting input is the voltage present at this point not v1 okay remember it gutu pettukondi here the input voltage to your non inverting input terminal is the voltage present at this point or voltage present at this point anything right not v1 not v1 okay then how do we calculate voltage at this point how do we calculate voltage at this point Hmm. How do we calculate voltage at this point? Voltage at this point means voltage across this resistor. Voltage across this resistor. Voltage across this resistor. So suppose assume, like you can assume here the voltage is V A. Here the voltage is V A. Right. So what is V A? V A equal to R by R plus R into V one R by R plus R into V one. So R by two R R R get cancelled one by two. So V A becomes V one by two. So finally your voltage becomes 
input voltage to your inverting input terminal is V1 by 2. That's what I have written here. V1 by 2. Then, then what about these two resistances? These two resistances are in parallel. These two resistances are in parallel, right? If you observe here, the current is flowing like this. At this node, the current, some of the current is flowing like this. Some of the current is flowing through ground because the current through op amp is zero. The current through op amp is zero, nothing but uh, if the current I is flowing through R, this R, after this point, the current splitting like this. The current here flowing through feedback resistance is I1 and this resistance is I2. That means these two resistance are in parallel. These two resistance are in parallel. So when these two resistance are in parallel, what is the equivalent resistance? R into R by R plus R. Right, R square by 2R, which is R by 2. So I'm replaced with a single resistance, R by 2, which is like your Thevenin's theorem. If you know that uh, concept of Thevenin's theorem, it is easy to understand. Right, this is Thevenin equivalent resistance and Thevenin source, voltage source. Right, so this input becomes in V1 by 2, which is voltage at this point. And the equivalent resistance, that means the parallel of these two values, R into R by R plus R, which is becomes R by 2. So after, so then the circuit is converted like this. Here, the three resistance are in parallel and these two resistance are parallel. So R by 2, we are getting R by 3, we are getting. And the input voltage at this point is become V1 by 2. Now, how it looks like? How the circuit is looks like? What is the circuit? In uh, right, tell me. Repeat it. You are correct. Tell me. What is the in, what is the circuit here? After doing inverting the modification. Amplifier. Right, inverting amplifier. Here the circuit is inverting amplifier. What is the output here? V not one. We assume. When V1 is active, V2, V3, V4 are inactive, we are assuming the output is V01, V01. So what about V01? What is the output of general inverting amplifier? V0 by V in equal to, V0 by V in equal to minus RF by R1, minus RF by R1, right? What is V0 here? V01. What is V in here? V1 by 2, V1 by 2. What is RF here? R. What is R1 here? R by 2. The same thing I am replacing here. V01 equal to v, VI into, VI means V1 by 2 into minus RF minus R by R1, R by 2. So if you get cancelled, right, these two are get cancelled and we are, we are having uh, constant 2 and these two are also get cancelled. Finally, V01 equal to minus V1. So, V01 equal to minus V1. So, the output of the given, the output of the circuit, which is the above circuit, the output of the circuit, when V1 is active, V2, V3, V4 are inactive, the output of the circuit is nothing but minus V1, which is considered as equation 1. Equation 1, V not 1 equal to minus V1. Is it clear up to this point? All of you. Is it clear? Yes, sir. Yes. Right. Coming to second case. What is the second case? V2 L is active. V1, V3, V4. Three voltages are inactive. That means V1, V3, V4 are equal to 0. V2 is active. Right? Nothing but the only modification is in the place of V1, you can replace V2. The only modification you have to do is so and can draw chai le only E circuit in draw chase and E circuit in draw chai le in the country. Only the difference when V2 is active means in the place of V1, V2 is act V2 is replaced and the resistance is connected to V1. The resistance is connected to V1. 
should be connected to ground and these three resistances are also similarly to the previous case connected to ground right so again at this point we are having the a resistance whose one end is connected to ground right similar to this circuit similar to this circuit we are getting here also but the the change is instead of v1 we have v2 we have v2 then if you if we again modify calculate equivalent resistance which is r by 3 calculate equivalent resistance here which is r by 2 calculate voltage at this point which is v2 by 2 which becomes v2 by 2 not v1 by 2 when v2 is active it becomes v2 by 2 it becomes v2 by 2 v2 by 2 instead of v1 v2 by 2 and this these all are similar these are two resistances are similar right is it clear all of you is it clear right so if you observe the circuit see this is the second circuit so shown what uh, what is the main difference instead of v1 by 2 we are having the input apply to inverting input terminal v2 by 2 right and the remaining equivalent resistances are similar then what is expected output in the previous case v not 1 equal to minus v1 now what about v not 2 what is expected output anyone what is expected output we we not 2 in the previous case when v1 is applied we are getting output as minus of v1 now coming to second circuit when v2 is applied what is v not 2 minus v right v not 2 is minus v2 v not 2 is minus v2 andike ikkane rasanu similarly similar methodology right same alane analysis chestam v not 2 equal to if you observe you have already I, I, I have written here v not 2 equal to what is the input inverting amplifier input v2 by 2 what is the formula minus rf by r what is the rf r minus r by r by 2 rr get cancel and this 2 and this 2 also get cancel finally minus of v2 output is minus of v2 is it clear up to this point all of you two cases are completed yes sir right two cases are completed right in the first case the output is minus v1 and the second case the output is minus v right now now coming to third case now output voltage is v not 3 due to input voltage v3 is alone applied at the non inverting input terminal and v1 v2 v4 are equal to zero and third case v3 is active v1 v2 v4 are inactive right in the first case v1 active v2 v3 v4 are inactive in the second case coming to as per superposition principle v2 is active v1 v3 v4 are inactive coming to third case now now the the case is third case v3 is active v1 v2 v4 are inactive that means they are equal to zero right now what about the modified circuit right so if coming to modified circuit right if you observe v1 inactive that means it is grounded it is grounded right uh, v3 is active that means v4 also it should be grounded so only the active voltage is input voltage is v3 for the third case and v1 v2 v4 are connected to ground that means they are equal to zero right now if you observe the resultant circuit this is the modified circuit this is the modified circuit this is the modified circuit right so if you observe two resistances r and this r becomes parallel because v1 v2 both are equal to zero right v1 v2 both are equal to zero that's why those two resistances are becomes parallel and connected to ground and connected to ground because the voltages are in zero at that point right coming to v3 is active right v3 is active if you observe v3 is active what about v4 what about v4 tell me what about v4 zero sir right when v4 is zero right okay okay when v4 is zero 
right okay, wait a minute uh, i'm going to hold one right right when v4 is zero that means it is connected to ground if you observe these two resistances also becomes parallel similar to these two resistances which are in parallel when when these two are get connected to ground when v4 is also zero these two resistances also becomes parallel that's what i have drawn here right these two resistances also becomes parallel now if you simplify this circuit these two are in parallel that means r into r by r plus r r square by 2r which is r by 2 replaced by single these two resistances replaced by single resistance which is r by 2 when they are in parallel right similarly these two are in parallel these two are in parallel right what about equivalent resistance r r and r both two resistances are in parallel that means what is the equivalent resistance it is also r by 2 i am replaced with single resistance r by 2 right now tell me how this circuit is looks like the resultant circuit after simplification what is the circuit what is the circuit tell me i am waiting for your response non inverting amplifiers right non inverting amplifier what is the input vb sir vb sir ha huh? tell me vb vb sir right vb is the input very good vb is the input not v3 special case of non inverting amplifier vb is the input so for that we have to find vb first we have to find vb so how do we calculate vb vb equal to r by 2 r by 2 by r plus r by 2 r plus r by 2 what is the input for this part for this part what is the input v3 is the input v3 is the input if you do the simplification what you get vb is nothing but v3 by 3 if you do this simplification you are getting 1 by 3 so 1 by 3 into v3 which is v3 by 3 which is vb which is vb not the output which is vb that is the in, that is the voltage you are applying to non inverting input of op amp which is the voltage you are applying to non inverting input of op amp which is v3 by 3 v3 by 3 then what about the output of non inverting amplifier tell me what is the output formula what is the output formula non inverting amplifier 1 plus rf by r into input voltage right 1 plus rf by not r m r1 an cheppandi okay rf by r1 into input right now what is the input here what is the input of this circuit what is the input of this circuit v3 by 3 sir right ahan v3 by 3 adhe em cheppanam vb sir right vb is the input right so which is v3 by 3 if you observe here i am i have replaced v3 by 3 1 plus rf by r1 what is rf in this circuit what is what is rf what is rf r sir r so i am i am placed r what about r1 input resistance what is the value here what is the value here r by 2 sir right r by 2 so r r get cancelled so 1 by 1 by 2 1 by 1 by 2 untundi so that means 1 by 1 by 2 means which is 2 so this it is 2 it is 2 Wait a minute. Right, this equivalent value becomes two, two and plus one. Two plus one, three. Three into V three by three. Three into V three by three get cancelled. So V not three equal to V three. V not three equal to V three. V not three equal to V three. So what is V not one minus V one? What is V not two minus V two? What is V not three? V three. Right now, coming to last case. What is the last case? Tell me. anyone what is the last case mana em change cheyali v4 is in active sir sorry v4 active lo unchadu sir right v4 is active now v4 is active v4 is active and v3 is grounded v2 is grounded 
B1 is grounded, right? Now, what is the expected output? Anyone tell me? V04. Output M of Sunday, A Navachu? V4. Right, good. V04 is V4. After doing the modify, like, the only difference between previous circuit and this circuit, the only difference is in the place of V3, you are having V4. Remaining entire circuit is same. Remaining entire circuit is same. Then what is the expected output V04? Which is V4? Which is V4? Right. Amta ipendika. Finally, total output as per the principle. What is the total output? V01 plus V02 plus V03 plus V04. So what is V01? Minus V1. What is V02? Minus V2. What is V03? Plus V3. What is V04? Plus V4. So V3 plus V4. Take the minus as common. Minus of V1 plus V2. Now if you observe. These are two adder circuit output. And the centered thing is one subtractor output. Is it clear all of you? Is it clear all of you? How we can perform addition and subtraction with a single operational amplifier? Is it clear all of you? Yes, sir. It's a very, very important essay question. Good way to My previous papers chose to my senior suite. You seven marks can say God. Okay, is it clear all of you? Yes, sir. A single op amp which performs both addition and subtraction. That's why it is called op amp. Operational amplifier. An amplifier which performs mathematical operation. That's why it is called operational amplifier. Okay. Right. We'll, we'll take two problems. Right. After, after, after completion of these two problems, we'll end up this class. Right. C. The same circuit, input voltages are different, 2, 3, 4, 5. And resistance are also different. If you observe, resistance are also different. They are not equal. You have to derivation of the matra, equal resistance to this kuna, simple guy in Marki. Chakra V1 minus V1 and now Alana minus V2 go chest and Jepesa. Similarly, V3 Jepesa. Next to the man chai kundane plus V4 or chest and sir output and chip down. Kani, cut resistance are different. So we have to do the calculations. We have to do the calculations. Right? So the, the procedure is same. The procedure is same. But it can concho simplification in kabach group cheptano churn. Right? It can concho complexity tagisna. Elante case one, you know. Two cases can be case one kind of this First, second case can be case one kind I'm considering case one. Right? So, what is case one? This is the case one. V1, V2 are active. V3, V4 are inactive. Case one, case two, Laman Chayas Nantan in OK case two Chayas Nantan. V1, V2 active. V3, V4 are inactive. V3, V4 are inactive. And the resultant output, I am assuming for the case one, V01. V01 can the resultant output is not. Right? Then what is the resultant circuit? So V3, V4 are inactive means this is connected to ground. This is one also connected to ground. So three resistance are connected to ground. Whose values are 10K, 20K, 30K. These three. So V1, V2 are active. 40K, 25K, feedback resistance is 50K. Right? Now, how this circuit looks like? How this circuit looks like? Inverting amplifier, sir. Not exactly. Single input, inverting amplifier. Multiple inputs. Hmm? Inverting operation operating inverting mode. Are you correct? Can this not inverting amplifier? Multiple inputs on Tell me what is this circuit? My euro try just not audio clear. Anyone tell me what is the circuit?
wait a minute i'll move back right the circuit gurtunna enti circuit the circuit name enti what is the name of the circuit what is the name of the circuit yeah. tell me what is the name of this circuit inverting your inverting summer inverting summer ante na inverting summer right what is the output of this circuit output of this uh, inverting summer this one v not equal to minus rf by r1 v1 plus rf by r2 v2 v not equal to minus of rf by r1 into v1 plus rf by r2 into v2 if the three resistances are equal id output antnan kaani manaki ichina problem lo ipudu ichina problem lo ee resistances are not identical ee moodu different values ichcha they are not identical ee circuit gurtundi kada ipudu meeku inverting summer gurtunda gurtochinda gurtochinda respond right then i move to the problem okay mm. yeah now tell me how this circuit looks like ikkada single resistance undi meer ee mode parallel kanukonde ikkada meek single resistance ho vastundi meeku ikkada single resistance vachestundi meek ground chesi untundi ఈ మూడు ప్యారలల్ కదా ఈక్వల్ అండ్ రెస్టెన్స్ కనుక్కోవచ్చు కదా ప్యారల్ వాడి రైట్ సో నా హౌ దిస్ సర్క్యూట్ లుక్స్ లైక్ ఇన్వర్టింగ్ సమ్మర్ రైట్ ఇన్వర్టింగ్ సమ్మర్ దిస్ సర్క్యూట్ ఈస్ నౌ ఇన్వర్టింగ్ సమ్మర్ వెన్ వి వన్ వి టూ బోత్ ఆర్ యాక్టివ్ వి త్రీ వి ఫోర్ ఆర్ ఇన్ యాక్టివ్ వాట్ ఈస్ ద ఫార్ములా ఇన్వర్టింగ్ సమ్మర్ అవుట్పుట్ దిస్ వన్ whose output is v not 1 here i am assuming output as v not 1 which is minus rf by r1 into v1 plus rf by r2 into v2 what is rf 50 kilo ohms rf is 50 kilo ohms 50 nenu ga kilo ohms iskovadle endukante all are in kilo ohms all are in kilo ohms right the resistance anni kilo ohms lone unnay kada anuke ga nenu kilo ohms anedi iskovadle right only 50 iskuntunnan 50 what is about r1 R1, R2, R3, R4, R5. What about R1? 40. Into, what about V1? 2 volts. If you observe, RF is 50, R1 is 40, V1 is 2. Coming to second part. RF is 50 again. R2 is 25. This one is 25. V2 is 3 volts. V2 is 3 volts. If you do the simplification, you are getting V0 1. Minus 8.5. So, case 1, case 2. We have to do the derivation of the case. We have to do the derivation of the case. Which is summer, which is minus 8.5. Minus 8.5. Is it clear? Is it clear? Yes, sir. We have to do the derivation of the case. We have to do the derivation of the case. We have to add the case. V0 1 and V0 2 minus V1. Minus V2. Minus V1, minus V2. Minus common this time of the name? I don't know. Actually, see. Minus common this time of the output? Minus of V1 plus V2, sir. Are there the pine of the inverting summer law? Are there resistance equal? Are there no chin? Yes, sir. Chase coach, all right. Chase coach, all right. చెప్తున్నా కదా మనకి ఎంత బాగా అర్థమవుతే కాన్సెప్ట్ అంత అంత తగ్గిపోతూ ఉంటుంది ప్రాబ్లం మీరు యాజ్ అ స్టూడెంట్స్ కనుక మీకు స్టెప్ బై స్టెప్ చెప్పాలి కనుక మీకు అంత లెంతీగా చెప్పాల్సి వచ్చింది డెరివేషన్ కానీ ఒక్కసారి మీకు ఆ కాన్సెప్ట్ అనేది ఒకసారి అర్థమవుతే మీకు ఆ ఎనాలిసిస్ అనేది తగ్గిపోతూ ఉంటుంది మీకు ఇదే ప్రాబ్లం గేట్లో ఇస్తాడు ఎంస్ లేదా ఏదైనా కాంపిటీషన్ ఎగ్జామ్లో ఇస్తాడు జెన్కో ట్రాన్స్కోలో వన్ వన్ మినిట్ ఉంటుంది ఆ క్వశ్చన్గా ఆ ప్రాబ్లంకి మీకు ఇచ్చే టైం వన్
వన్ మినిట్ లో మీరు ఎంత స్పీడ్ గా క్యాలిక్యులేట్ చేయాలో తెలుసా మీకు కాన్సెప్ట్ ఎంత బాగా అర్థమవుతాయి అంత ఈజీగా అయిపోతుంది ప్రాబ్లం స్పీడ్ గా కూడా చేయగలరు రైట్ సో మైనస్ ఎయిట్ పాయింట్ ఫైవ్ నౌ బట్ టూ బట్ కేస్ త్రీ అండ్ కేస్ ఫోర్ సిమిలర్ టు దిస్ డెర్వేషన్ పార్ట్ ఓన్లీ రైట్ సో కేస్ టూ ఇన్ ద ప్రాబ్లమ్ కేస్ టూ వాట్ ఈస్ కేస్ టూ V1, V2, V4 are inactive, V3 is active. In the given problem, what is case 2? Given problem, V3 is active. This one is active. This one is inactive. This one is inactive. This one is inactive. This one is inactive. That means, these two are connected to ground. What is the parallel resistance? What is the equivalent resistance? 40 into 25 by 40 plus 25. అంతేనా ఈక్వల్ ఇంట్రెస్ట్ నుంచి అదేనా అక్కడ వచ్చేది మనకి ఫార్టీ ఇంటూ ట్వంటీ ఫైవ్ బై ఫార్టీ ప్లస్ ట్వంటీ ఫైవ్ అదేనా ఈక్వల్ ఇంట్రెస్ట్ నుంచి రెస్పాండ్ వాట్ ఈస్ ఈక్వల్ ఇంట్రెస్ట్ అండ్ వీ గెట్ ఫార్టీ ఇంటూ ట్వంటీ ఫైవ్ బై ఫార్టీ ప్లస్ ట్వంటీ ఫైవ్ అండ్ బోత్ ఆర్ గెట్ గ్రౌండెడ్ అంతేనా అదేనా వచ్చేది రైట్ నా వి ఫోర్ ఈజ్ ఆల్సో గ్రౌండెడ్ వి ఫోర్ ఈజ్ ఆల్సో grounded then what about equivalent resistance this equivalent resistance 20 into 30 by 20 plus 30 right they are in parallel 20 into 30 by 20 plus 30 so in direct ga values ikkada place chesan single edi right second case right so 20 into 30 by 20 plus 30 cheste manaki 12 vastundi 20 into 30 by 20 plus 30, 600 by 50, and the, which is 12. Similarly, pine 2 resistance sunnai manaki. Ema resistance sunnai pine 2 resistance sunnai. Ema into v? 40 and 25. 40 into 25 by 40 plus 25. 1000 by 65. 1000 by 65. If you do the calculation, you are getting 15.3. Right? So, single resistance. We are, pl we are placed with single resistance instead of the parallel combination of resistors, I am placing single resistance. Now, how this circuit looks like? How this circuit looks like? A non-inverting amplifier. Right? What is the input to this circuit? VB is the input, not 4 volts. Not 4 volts is the input. VB is the input. So, you have to calculate VB. You have to calculate VB. What is VB? What is VB? VB is equal to 12 by 12 by 12 plus 10, 22 into 4, into 4, 12 by 12, 12 by 12 plus 10, 22, right, into 4. So what is the value we are getting? 2.2 volts, 2.2 volts of mark. VB is 2.2 volts. Now it is the input for the circuit. VB is the input, not 4 volts. So what is VB? 2.2 volts. Then how it looks like? A non-inverting amplifier. What is the formula? V02 equal to 1 plus RF by R1. 1 plus, what is RF? 50. What about R1? 15.3. 1 plus 50 by 15.3 into what is the input? 2.2. So what is V02? 9.38 volts. 9.38 volts, which is V02. When V3 is active, other are inactive. Coming to third case. Coming to third case. V4 is active, remaining all are inactive. V4 is active, remaining all are inactive. That means it is active. V3 is grounded. V2 is grounded. V1 is grounded. So same. Equivalent resistance, which is 15.3 kilo ohms, then replace chasta. But kunde resistance, these two are in parallel. Now it is connected to ground and it is a connect this 10 k ohm resistance is connected to ground. These two are in parallel now. 30 into 10 by 30 plus 10, 300 by 40. 300 by 40. So what is the equivalent resistance we get? 7.5. 300 by 40. 300 by 40 means 30 by 4. 30 by 4 means 7.5. So this is 7.5 kilo ohms 
and this input resistance r1 is similar to previous one and the input is now is 5 volts right now you have to calculate vb now you have to calculate vb what is vb vb is nothing but what is vb 7.5 by 7.5 by 7.5 plus 20 27.5 27.5 into what is v in 5 volts so if you do the simplification you are getting 1.36 which is voltage applied to your non inverting input terminal 1.36 again what is v not 3 it's a non inverting amplifier v in into which is 1.36 into 1 plus rf by r1 1 plus rf by r1 so what we get 5.8 volts so all are completed so first case two inputs active tisconi two inputs inactive tisconi chesam second case v3 active tisconi v1 v2 v4 inactive tisconam third case we can choose v4 is active v1 v2 v3 are inactive so then total output v01 plus v02 plus v03 so what is v01 minus 8.5 what is v02 9.38 volts what is v03 5.8 volts so finally what is the output of the given circuit output of this circuit what is the output of this circuit 6.68 volts 6.68 volts what we get here is it clear all of you problem is it clear yes sir right and this one is very simple when compared to this one there are only three sources same problem only thing is oka input tagichan nenu right meeku ikkada nenu dc kinda mention chesanu same ikkada meeku v right ga nindla 5 ee circuit lo 2 3 4 5 ichanu kan chinna modification memmal confuse cheyadaniki ila dc kinda ichanu right ila ila petta meeku power source system right so 2 volts what are the inputs v1 2 volts v2 2 volts v3 6 volts so first em chestaru v1 v2 active pedtaru v3 ground chestaru v1 v2 active tisukoni v3 ground chesthe em vastundi ee 22 kilo ohms uh, okay 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 this is some different problem wait a minute calculate the value of rs not output sorry sorry calculate value of rs from the figure such that v not becomes zero so rs kanukkom antunnadu vidu is a different ga v not zero ichesadu vaada output ichesadu rs kanukkom antunnadu same procedure right so what i what we do means first same procedure v1 v2 are active v1 v2 are active v3 is zero output will be v not one so when these two are active these two are active so the resultant circuit is like this these two are active means id em avutundi it directly connected to ground this one is directly connected to ground so if you modify the if you observe the modify circuit v1 2 volts v2 2 volts which is applied to 10 kilo ohms and 10 kilo ohm both resistances are equal oh feedback resistance also 10 kilo ohms and this r3 is connected to ground why because v3 is inactive so this 22 kilo ohms connected to ground and this rs is also connected to ground now how this circuit looks like tell me circuit ela undi mere cheppal how this circuit looks like <coughs> correct cheppandi ma background noise vastundi inverting summer okay. right inverting summer inverting summer formula int minus of rf by r1 what is rf 10 kilo ohms is kotla any kilo ohms ganaka rf by r1 10 by r1 enta 10 a so rf by r1 into v1 enta 2 volts plus rf by r2 what is rf again 10 what about r2 this one is also 10 kilo ohms only what is v2 this one also 2 so these two are get cancelled finally what we get output minus 4 volts minus 4 volts is it clear all of you minus 4 volts is it clear up to this point case 1 when v1 v2 active v3 is inactive is it clear tell me is it clear yes sir right 
come into case 2 two cases are there in this come into case 2 v3 is active now v3 is active these two are inactive directly connected to ground directly connected to ground these two are inactive <coughs> right when these two are inactive what is the circuit looks like c these two are inactive this 2.2 kilo ohms is connected to 6 volts right 6 6 volts apply as my 2.2 kilo ohms resistance means right same ikkada two sorry not 2.2 it is 22 kilo ohms right 22 kilo ohms ki man 6 volts apply chestam rs alane undi rs so ikkada entundi resistance 5 kilo ohms 5 kilo ohms ela vachindi cheptara 5 kilo ohms ela vachindi ఇక్కడ ఫైవ్ కిలో ఓమ్స్ ఎలా వచ్చింది టెల్ మీ హౌ వీ గెట్ ఫైవ్ కిలో ఓమ్స్ మనకి ఇక్కడ ఈ రెండు గ్రౌండ్ చేస్ ఉన్నాయి రైట్ వి వన్ వి టూ ఇన్యాక్టివ్ కదా ఈ కేసులో సో ఈ రెండు గ్రౌండ్ అయినప్పుడు ఏమవుతుంది ఈ రెండు ప్యారలల్ టెన్ కిలో ఓమ్స్ టెన్ కిలో ఓమ్స్ ప్యారలల్ టెన్ ఇంటూ టెన్ బై టెన్ ప్లస్ టెన్ హండ్రెడ్ బై ట్వంటీ హండ్రెడ్ బై ట్వంటీ అంటే ఎంత ఫైవ్ అది నేను రిప్లేస్ చేశాను ఫైవ్ కిలో ఓమ్స్ రైట్ నా ఇది ఎలా ఉంది ఇప్పుడు నాన్ ఇన్వర్టింగ్ యాంప్లిఫైర్ a non inverting amplifier what is the input to this circuit vb not 6 volts the input is vb so we have to calculate vb we have to calculate vb right we have to calculate vb right so what is the output of this second case so this one is v not 2 output of second case v not 2 output of first case v not 1 how much it is minus 4 volts output of this case v not 2 what is v not 2 what is v not 2 anyone it is non inverting amplifier what is the output of this circuit v not 2 what is the input plus r by r1 into input voltage right what is the input voltage here vb is the input voltage 1 plus rf by r1 rf is 10 kilo ohms what about r1 5 kilo ohms 10 by 5 so 5 1 ja 5 2 ja right 2 plus 1 3 v02 is 3b v02 is 3b but vb manaku teliyadu vb ganukovali so vb what is vb rs by rs plus 22 kilo ohms manaku anukomande rs problem lo right rs manaku teliyadu unknown value rs is unknown value we have to calculate what is rs okay we have to calculate what is rs so rs by rs plus 22 kilo ohms into what is input here 6 volts this is vb so finally what we get output voltage v02 3 into vb 3 into vb so 3 into 6 3 into 6 means 18 18 into rs by rs plus 22 kilo ohms this is number 2 number 2 so we are, we are having we are having v not 1 which is minus 4 volts we are having v not 2 which is 18 rs by rs plus 22 kilo ohms what is v not from superposition principle what is v not v not 1 plus v not 2 v not is v not 1 plus v not 2 right so what is v not 1 minus 4 volts which in my final mere fine chuste v not 1 is minus 4 volts what is v not 2 what is v not 2 18 rs by rs plus 22 kilo ohm 18 rs by rs plus 22 kilo ohm but from the given data output voltage is zero problem lo em ichadu manaki from the given data right what is the given problem calculate value of rs rs kanukom annadu from the figure such that v not becomes zero v not becomes zero so ante output voltage ent ichinattu how much he has given how much he has given output voltage how much he has given in the data zero sir right v not is zero v not is zero so that's why i am equating this v not to zero i am equating v not to zero 
minus 4 plus 18 RS by RS plus 22. Kilo ohms se ganaka ni already a tc san 22 only constant this one. So 4 ni left hand side this kunte 18 RS by RS plus 22 equal to 4. 18 RS equal to multiply 4 RS into 22 into 4, 88. Right, 4 RS bring into left hand side, which is 18 RS minus 14 RS means 14 RS, 18 RS minus 4 RS ante 14 RS, which is equal to 88. RS equal to 88 by 14, which is 6.285 kilo ohms. This is the one more model problem. Is it clear? This problem, all of you. Is it clear? Yes, sir. So, so this is the end of today's class. Okay. So that's about adder and subtractors. Okay. The operation amplifier which perform multiple operations at a time. Which the single op amp performs addition and subtraction at a time. Okay. So this is the end of today's class. Tomorrow we'll discuss about V2I converters and I2V converters. Voltage to current converters and current to voltage converters. Tomorrow first hour. Okay. Okay, take care, okay. all of you. Take care, all of you. Bye. Thank you, sir.